To our victorious true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind, Gyeongbae. Paro. Paro. To the heavenly parent and true father and true mother, they have achieved complete unity of a trinity and through the fourth anniversary of true father's ascension, the entire unification community and all 7.3 billion people around the world are now being given a new gate leading to hope. True Mother will now move to the lower stage and now let us look back on the original meaning of Songha and let us celebrate our heart together. Today all blessed families will receive and inherit this earnest heart of true parents, testify to true parents and become the light of the world. With that heart, let us welcome true mother. She is now coming down from the heavens to the lower stage at this moment. We will absolutely be victorious. Let us make that determination and let us welcome our true mother, our true parents with a warm round of applause. Now our true parents will give us precious words of truth. Respected dignitaries from home and abroad, peace ambassadors, beloved, blessed families he and members from around the world. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, please be seated. All of you, as you saw in the video, we, during the third anniversary of Father's Ascension, we told the Father, we will fulfill our responsibility on earth. Father, please ascend to Ponyangwon, the eternal resting place. Please comfort heavenly parent who has been lonely until now become an offering and become free please ascend to heavenly father I said that do you remember our responsibility on earth what is that responsibility it is to testify to true parents it is to love true parents and it is to convey the will of true parents to all 7.3 billion people so that all 7.3 billion people around the world can know of that will. We must make that effort. Are you doing so? <clears throat> we um, 13 regions have been formed, uh, organized into, 13 regions have been organized depending on their languages and various activities such as tribal messiah activities are taking place. Going beyond the tribe, going beyond the nation and we expanding to the world. The providence is moving forward and Asia, Africa, all 13 regions are alive with the fire of tribal messiahship. All of humanity, true parents, must be testified to. It is only by knowing about the true parents that humanity can find hope. This is the fulfillment of humanity's wish. This is a dream of heavenly parent. However, for 6,000 biblical years, 
Satan, humanity has suffered under the dominion of Satan. And humanity had a strong yearning for heaven but remained ignorant of how to find heaven. This, this is because as fallen humans, it was not possible for fallen human beings to go directly to heavenly parent. A condition of indemnity is required. How difficult must it have been? How painful must it have been? So that it took 6,000 biblical years for the history of the providence of restoration that God has led to take such a long time. God took 4,000 biblical years to raise the chosen nation and having paid various conditions of indemnity, God raised the people to the level of the nation. And on that foundation, God sent His only begotten Son, Jesus. But Mary, who was a central figure, the family of Zechariah, the family of Joseph, the Jewish leader, the people of Israel, they were ignorant of heaven's providence. Until now, many, countless human beings have been born on earth, but for the first time in 4,000 biblical years, for the first time in history, God sent His only begotten Son, the person He referred to as my Son. If that is the case, the central figures should have embraced Jesus the Messiah. They should have prepared the requisite environment for Jesus. However, we know the outcome. They failed in their responsibility. And that is why Jesus was crucified on the cross. And on the cross, Jesus said, I will come again. What would Jesus do when he returns? He said, I would host the wedding of the Holy Lamb. What does this mean? This means the realization of the wish of Heavenly Parent and the dream of humanity. Humanity dreams of finding the true parent because only through true parents can humanity return to the position of the true children of God. By their own effort, fallen human beings cannot return to the position of true children of God unless true parents lead them fallen children cannot be born anew into the kingdom of God. Therefore, the true parents whom humanity has yearned for so long, for the first time in 6,000 years, centering on the Korean people, the only begotten son and only begotten daughter were sent and they hosted the holy wedding and became the true parents of humankind. Therefore, this people of Korea, what path must it choose? All of you, as blessed families, who have received a blessing ahead of others, please fulfill your responsibility as heavenly tribal messiahs. Go beyond the tribe. Go beyond the nation. Reach the world. Establish a foundation on the world level for true parents. This is the current status of blessed families worldwide.
Right now, through the 13 regions around the world, this work is taking place. And in addition to this, this year, during Foundation Day, the Parliamentarians Association was launched. And in July, as you have seen through the video, in Nepal, the launching of the International Association of Parliamentarians for Peace was launched in Nepal. Together with the launching of the Parliamentarians Association, Peace Road. Peace Road. The great journey linking humanity to peace. This movement, more than 140 nations participated in Peace Road. And together with the founding of the Parliamentarians Association, in each nation, virtuous men and women and citizens of various nations are participating, warmly welcoming these initiatives. And in December, there will be the final launching of the International Association of Parliamentarians for Peace. And until that day, these initiatives will continuously take place. When we look at these initiatives, the heart of people all around the world, this heart yearns to go towards the realization of a world of peace. But how the humanity has not known how to reach that objective. Therefore, they must wholeheartedly participate, support, and happily join the work of Family Federation for World Peace. The dream of the heavenly parent, the dream of true parents, the wish of humanity is to realize one family under God. However, in today's world, today's world is filled with various issues, religious conflict, conflict of race, territorial conflicts. All these conflicts stem from self-centered actions. Furthermore, through the Industrial Revolution, the livelihood of humanity has changed. Economic and material prosperity have been achieved. And as second, third, and fourth superpowers emerged, rather than focus on the positive points, instead of focusing on the future, many problems are arising. One of them is climate change. The earth is being laid to waste. For humanity to survive, what is most important in terms of material things are sun, sunshine, water, air. These are decreasing, are being affected. And looking at this reality, Father, in South America, Father worked to resolve the issue of future food security and resolve the issue of climate change. True Father has mentioned that we must apply these principles to solve humanity's problems. For decades, 
True Father has led the history of the providence. 이전의 모든 그래도 인류의 미래를 걱정하고 있는 사람들은 People who have been concerned about the future of humanity, they have provided many good opinions and they have identified many of the issues. However, when it comes to solving these issues, when it comes to providing viable solutions to these issues, the experts have not been able to provide good solutions. One of the reasons is is the issue of the self-centeredness of superpowers. Until now, civilization based on science has developed science that is based on destruction, a science that focuses on war. Isn't that so? Therefore, I, I want to revive the International Conference on the Unity of Sciences. All issues of afflicting the world must be resolved because God originally created this beautiful world with an ideal in mind and efforts and movements must be developed to restore this world to its pristine state. To do so, experts, scholars, must take the lead and support this great initiative. That is how they can give, they can earn the trust of humanity. Therefore, I I want to begin the ICUS conferences as the Center for Academic Studies of Science and through the media I want to educate the masses and the population. I also want to engage in work that can bring about tangible results. All of you today, on this stage, you have seen a beautiful performance on this stage today. And in that performance, we had 1,200 second and third generations from around the world participating. They are the future leaders of the unification movement. Even though the language and the cultural background may be def different, because they know of true parents, we can unite as one. Therefore, We will realize the dream of the heavenly parent, the dream of true parents, and the wish of all of humanity without fail. Until that day, we will march forward. We must march forward. Today, it is the fourth anniversary of Father's Ascension. And on this day, let us embrace a great will in our hearts. Let us make a firm determination. We will realize it. This is my appeal and request to you.
개태림포 청주성화 4주년 우리 기념식을 통해서 우리 모든 동행하는 천진성과 함께 신유한 영광을 올려드리는 삶을 받았다는 마음을 받았다는 마음을 받았다는 마음을 받았다는 마음을 받았다는 마음을 Parents of heaven, earth, and humankind have shared a heartfelt message. Let us engrave this message in our hearts and let us resolve to be victorious in the realization of the restoration of the nation. Let us now sing a beautiful song of the homeland. Today, our true parents have given us a precious message. Let us wish for the longevity and good health. Of our true parents, let us give true mother another thunderous round of applause.